here to present with you today our opening um, Spring Valley Psychiatric Medical Unit. Um, please enjoy the beverages and donuts we've provided. Also, there's handouts in front of you um, outlining what we'll be discussing today. So the purpose, um, the mission for our unit is to create a secure therapeutic environment for all clients through a one-on-one -on -one nurse to patient experience, striving for healing through education, collaboration, and accountability, providing patient-centered care around the clock so families can feel confident with the care that their loved ones are receiving. Our vision statement will be, we will stand out in our community for exceptional care of our patients, their loved ones, and our employees. We aim for a fall-free facility through our detailed attention to patients and their needs. Our employees will continually strive to improve through evidence-based practice and ongoing education. We will ensure that our unit staff has a strong understanding and alliance with the mission and vision through the following practices. The care of our employees and community will remain at the front lines of our concerns and actions. Ongoing education will provide opportunities for our staff to grow in their confidence as, as well as empowering their voice in the healthcare field. Continuing education through open door policies, peer leadership liaisons, and a once a month meeting to address facility wide updates and grievance will enforce understanding to the communities we have to our mission and values. team consists of our unit director, facility educator, and management um, peer liaison. Our leadership team will use a democratic leadership style, allowing input for team members to increase motivation and creativity. The leadership team will be available in the hospital Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., unless needed longer. The unit director is on call nights and weekends and the facility educator and management peer liaison split on call at night and on weekends. Our staff includes a psychiatric nurse, a psychiatric therapist, unit secretary, nurse facilitator, patient care tech, security activities director, and a case manager. Our staffing requirements for the unit directors Monday through Fridays, our nurse, the unit will be staffed with a minimum of two nurses at all times, with a staffing matrix of one nurse to one patient at all times. Minimum of two nurses on call at all times. No floating nurses as all nurses for this unit are dedicated. Patient care techs are a ratio of one patient care tech to two patient at all times. Unit secretary works Monday through Fridays, our psychiatric therapist is a Monday through Friday, two therapist alternates, on call nights and weekends. Security is two officers on duty, one officer on call. Activities director is every day. Case manager is Monday through Friday, one case manager available during schedule hours, one on call after hours and weekends. Okay, so our unit will have a policy and procedure committee, an ethics committee, and an education committee. All staff members are required to join at least one of the unit committees. And then for our nursing organizations, we have the American Psychiatric Nurses Association, the International Nurses Society on Addiction, and the National Quality Measures Clearing House. And all nurses are expected to be a member of at least one of the nursing organizations mentioned and to maintain that membership year round. and procedures section of your handout and we will go over our Spring Valley Secure Medical Center's policies. We will strictly adhere to the following procedures. Admission certification. We will provide specific procedural protection for a person that is involuntarily committed to prevent discrimination and violation of their rights. 
We will adhere to a HIPAA policy that is required by law to maintain the privacy of the patient's health information and provide the patient with notice of its legal duties and privacy practices with respect to their health information. We will have a delegation policy to apply delegation tasks to the patient care tech within their scope of practice and knowledge while providing patient care and safety. We have a prioritization policy. It provides an unbiased prioritization plan for patient care needs based on immediate admission. A timely init initial evaluation is done to determine prompt care plan and needs of the patient. We have a restraints and seclusion, seclusion policy, which includes in the instant that restraints or seclusions are used in the treatment of a patient, these guidelines shall be observed for the safety and the well-being of the patient and staff involved. team is important because it will work to improve patients' experiences by providing the safest, highest quality, and best value health care. The team will meet regularly and collect data to find areas that need improvement. The members that are part of this team will have a variety of backgrounds that allow for improvement on the unit as a whole. The continuous improvement of the unit will benefit patient care and allow the unit to grow. Our quality improvement team consists of a day-to-day -day leader that will assure tests are implemented and overseen, organizes ongoing work, measurement, and team. It will be a key contact responsible for coordinating communication between team, staff, and board of directors, which will be the charge nurse. The clinical leader will test and implement change, and that will be nurses, physicians, therapists, and patient techs. Technical expert will be someone that knows the subject intimately, helps know what to do, measure, design the measurements and tool, and provide guidance on collection and interpretation. This will be a nurse or physician. The project sponsor, or provider champion will work regularly with those directly affected by the QI efforts, will be influential among the medical staff, open to change, and the main link between senior management and the team. This will be the unit director. The data entry person will consist of a charge nurse and other nurses involved that to enter data and submit reports. Joint commission safety goals that are applicable to our unit will be identifying patient safety risks, identifying patients correctly, use medicine safely, improve staff communication, using alarms safely, and preventing infection. Well, errors remain a difficult aspect of patient care. Therefore, our unit is dedicated to decreasing medical errors through a number of measures, including when administering medication, barcode wristbands and verbal identifiers will be used, name alerts for any patient with the possibility of sound-alike or look-alike problems, staff will be continuously trained using simulation and continuing education courses. Errors and near-miss near reporting system is also a major concern for us and it will be implemented a team will be set up to work on this system, including an expert on conflict resolution and root analysis. The unit director and root analyst will be in charge. Errors must be reported and fixed. It's also important to report errors in order to conduct a root analysis. These incidents can be recorded by staff members to root analysis expert and be kept confidential between them. Near misses are confidential and reporting is highly encouraged. There will be no repercussions for a form as a form of punishment for any staff members, and additional training or review will be encouraged for all staff involved in near misses. Root analysis investigation are used to improve safety, control hazardous issues, and reduce risks. In creating this project, we used an initial in-person meeting that allowed us to view the project and divide the tasks. Google Docs became our primary working platform for presenting work and communicating. Individually, we assess hospital website policies and procedures to design our own, listing progress for our peers for input. And then group emails and text messages were utilized for planning last minute meetings. 